All right, boys, welcome back to another video. I'm joined by Will Upton here. So we all know the trade deadlines in about a week. So what we're going to do is we're going to take 10 ideas that can happen. And Will is going to say whether or not he believes it or if it's cap or not. So this is going to be pretty dope, bro. But the first one is, okay, so the best teams in the West, they stay quiet. So the Lakers, they don't make a trade. Like you mentioned in your video, they can't trade a first until 2027. The Clippers can at all in the Paul George trade. And then the Jazz, why would they really make a trade, right? Because they're playing so well. So do you buy this? None of those teams make a, like a significant move. Maybe they'll make a, a little bit of a move. but like, Yeah, is this like excluding the buyout? Because I, I could definitely see none of those. I don't think the Jazz make a trade. And I don't think the Clippers make a trade. As much as the Clippers should make a trade, I don't think that they do anything. The Lakers are a little iffy, but I could, I yeah, I could definitely buy into that. I I could one hundred percent buy into that. Yeah, so this doesn't include Wayne Ellington, White Sutter, Javale McGee. Like it just it means like the like an actual like bigger trade. Yeah. Then yeah, I one hundred percent. You buy it? Yeah. All right, the next one, dude. This might be my favorite one on the list. So the Blake, the Bla the Blazers make a sneaky big move and they trade for John Collins. Buying this oh. or no? Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, um <laughs> I'm not buying it because I think this is I hope this I hope this doesn't come back to bite me, but I think this is the best chance Portland has ever had to make the fight, or maybe not ever, but the best chance in the last like 10 years. This is their best roster that they have assembled in the near future recent memory. I think that they don't make a really big move. John Collins. Yeah, John oh. Collins, dude, Dame Lillard. I, I buy it. I, buy I think it. they. I, I can buy this 100%, man. I mean, why not, right? I would love Lillard. that. That would be so incredible. Oh, my goodness. I mean, you remember, they were in the Harden trade talks. Yeah. They wanted them. They just didn't have enough. Yeah. They offered CJ McCollum in that. But All right, so the Cleveland Cavaliers, they do not buy out Andre Drumming. They actually trade him. Now, they don't get anything significantly, but they do get something small. So do you buy this? Yeah, a billion times. Yeah, a billion, a hundred percent. I mean, I'm seeing, dude. You could, like, half the half the league's interested in Drummond at this point. Like, I think, yeah, I think one hundred percent a low tier trade where the Cavs either get some young player or some value. I mean, I don't even know if the value. We're probably talking second round pick here, but young player, second round pick, or something like that. I. I, I think that's actually probably what will happen. Yeah, so I'll give you an example of a trade. So the Dallas Mavericks send Dwight Powell and James Johnson for like Drummond, for example. Mm -hmm. You can see that happening. Um, is there no pick involved in that? No, nah, there. I don't believe so. I mean, it doesn't look like there is. And I'm like, I mean, see. Dwight Powell. I don't. Pretty young, right? Mid twenties. Yeah, but I mean, they've got a bunch of those big young men but yeah I, I could see them just trying to unload him and get any anything they could get from him yeah all right okay so the next one is now this is kind of canceled because kyle larry staying put was just confirmed by the raptors they said look we're not trading him like just don't call us about kyle larry so that that's obviously off the table but bradley beal staying put do you buy this yeah yeah i i think this is unfortunately what happens i mean you know you saw i made a video about him going to the lakers <laughs> no. today yeah. um i i would love to see bradley be on another team i actually saw that drummond's interested in going to the wizards possibly which would be pretty crazy like drummond beal and, and russ yeah. i like what the wizards have i think that russ is very dysfunctional but um i i unfortunately think beal stays put i want to see him in a different uniform though Okay, all right, pretty dope. So the next one is the Pelicans. They part with a guard. Now, before I go to you from this one, LeVar Ball just came out and said Lonzo hates it in this this city. Like he doesn't wow. want to be here. So the first thing I did was Chicago Bulls because he's like I'm I'm hoping Lonzo ends up in Chicago because I think he'd be a good fit next to Zach Levine. He can obviously he's a good defender. He can play make. But do you actually buy this? So like JJ Redick and Lonzo Ball, for example, get traded. Mm -hmm. Like do you buy this or or like even maybe Eric Bledsoe? Uh, or yeah, or Josh Hart. I mean, yeah. Josh Hart could actually go to Chicago with Lonzo for like I think, one down Hart or something. Yeah, I think that I, I think Lonzo Ball gets traded. I, I think it's crazy because for all my Bulls fans out there, we've been playing around with Lonzo possibly like all these rumors. Lonzo to Chicago for I feel like since he's gotten to the league, and uh, this year it could happen. But I definitely think Lonzo gets gets dealed because man, the Pelicans are a mess and. Um, He's on an expiring 
they're going to want value. And he's he's having an incredible season. You might as well get value from him if he's not going to come back anyways. So, Yeah, how do you feel about Lonzo Ball and Josh Hart to the Bulls for uh, Wendell Carter Jr. and uh, Sinaransky, Thomas Sinaransky? Do you think that's like a fair trade or? Um, that's a risky trade. It's a risky trade. I'm not, I've never really been too sold on Wendell. I want to give Wendell more time, but, um, I think if they do that trade, they're in the playoffs hundred percent because they need a playmaking point guard very badly. Sadoransky in his time starting has been looking good, but Lonzo's a little bit different. And, um, they made the, the move to put Thaddeus in the starting lineup. So I would think this is a trade that would definitely, the Bulls this is a very realistic idea, yeah. And I would love Josh Hart. I would absolutely love him. He's yeah. So this, this has nothing really to do with like what we're talking about, but there's a guy in one of my fantasy leagues that hasn't lost. He's much better than everyone else, and he actually dropped Wendell like wow. a couple hours ago. He's the best team, and I was wow. looking at his numbers, and like he's pretty good for like only playing 20 minutes a game. So it just kind of was strange to me. And he picked up uh, who was it? It was I don't even remember we picked up, but it was someone that like barely it was like Cameron Payne or something weird. Oh really? I, I was like that's strange. I, I might have to go and pick him up. But yeah. All right. All right oh. So uh, moving on, number six. So the Timberwolves, despite being the worst team in basketball, like statistically, they become buyers. So like they trade for Aaron Gordon. I, I think that they need to become buyers. I think that's why they're so bad. Is they have an immense. They have young talent. It, it's just unbelievable how much young talent. And even if all of it, all of them don't work out, you still have solid young role players. Like, you know, I, I love Jared Vanderbilt. Like, I love Anthony Edwards. They need a veteran. They need every single team in the NBA needs veterans. And Ricky Rubio, to me, is like the only veteran that really stands out on that team. And as good of a veteran as he could be, I definitely think that they need to become buyers. I mean, they've got they've got talent, man. A healthy D'Lo and a healthy cat enough should be motivating like you can't there that organization is a mess they need to do anything they can do to not continue to be a mess yeah in my opinion i watched a lot of timberwolves games actually because i have cat in a league i have d'lo in a league i know you have edwards they're horrible oh, i have Malik beasley too but they're, they're just a bad team and i think d'lo is like one of the more overrated players in basketball wow. just because he can't defend he's actually i think he's the second worst defender statistically in the nba I mean, that dude cannot defend and he can only score like he can only shoot and when his shots off i mean you, you know the who was it ryan saunders was their previous coach he actually said when dilo wasn't in the lineup or on the bench like he that was like when he was at his best like he loved the coach so yeah. that i mean ryan saunders is a bad coach too but like i'm just saying like uh, i think devin booker would have been amazing if he ended up going to minnesota i mean that's probably out of the table by now yeah. but i mean if he did go to minnesota with cat that would be dirty yeah, right. they need defense, man. Cat, yeah. cat gets such a bad rep for playing bad defense. Well, none of the four guards out on the court can can play any defense, so of course they're yeah. gonna be attacking Cat. <laughs> Everyone's yeah, getting beat. All right, so the next one up is actually the Chicago Bulls. So Ooh. they're going to break up their young core and they're going to trade Lori Marketin and no. Wendell Carter Jr. Oh, do you buy this that they just break up everything and trade those guys? Oh man, ah. Uh. Lori and Wendell, I could definitely buy it, but I don't think it happens. I could 100% buy it, and I hope there's Bulls fans in the comment section saying we should do this because I would love to hear their opinion on it. You know how high I am on Lori, and um, but yeah, I could definitely see that because he's on it's his last year, and uh, Wendell just hasn't hasn't ever really been that that dude he's only played in like 100 nba games but yeah. i could see that happening i hate to say it i hate it i don't think it happens though. i i think they i think they buy i don't think that they sell though i mean this is just at the top of my head it might not even make sense but like would you take victor aladipo for lori no no okay never right. i didn't think so i just thought it asked <laughs> <laughs> all right man we'll move on so so the orlando magic so they keep nikola vujovic but they trade fournier aaron gordon and terrence ross do you buy this i i think this is exactly what happens yeah i don't really like the i don't think man i can't remember the owner of the uh magic right now i i i just see no way I don't see any way that they sell Vucevic this year, but I think Gordon's gone. I think Ross is gone. Fournier is gone. I think Ross is 100% gone, and same with Fournier. I, I, I know that they want to get as much value as they can for these guys and still move forward uh, while keeping Vuce. Yeah, I heard that Marco Fultz was actually untouchable, and so was uh, Jonathan Isaac. I thought That's that was awesome. Good. Yeah. Good. 
So this one's kind of crazy, man. Number nine on our list. So the Spurs, they haven't made an, a midseason trade since 2014. And when they did do that, they went to the finals just about a month later. Oh I mean, my but obviously, when they had like Manu and yeah. Parker, Duncan. Why? So yeah. this trade would be actually the Marcus Aldridge. So do you do you buy him being traded? Yeah. Not out. Yeah. Yeah, I could see it. Um, I could definitely see it. Once again, I don't think his value will be very high. Um, because he's what 35 and extremely slow but he could definitely i mean he could help out a contending team 100 percent. but i could see that happening because with a lot of these guys is i would want it if i'm a contending team and i know i want lamarcus or i know i want drummond i'm making a trade because i don't want somebody else to get him i don't want drummond going to the nets i don't want drummond going to the lakers like i'm gonna make a trade for him so yeah i could see this happen yeah all right man pretty dope so some teams obviously interested would be the Boston Celtics and the Charlotte Hornets. Now, if the Hornets, I don't, does that make sense? Is it just me or does that not make a lot of sense? It, I, mean, I know they need a big, but I mean, like LA. It, I guess it, yeah, it doesn't make that much sense. It doesn't, I, I understand like the veteran, but um, it's kind of weird. Yeah. yeah. All right. And number 10, the Houston Rockets. Oh, oh we've all been waiting for. So, <laughs> I mean, this shouldn't be too hard to answer, but I mean, they just, tear everything down basically they trade everyone so victor oladipo nawaba house and macklemore would all be all be traded like do you buy this man i really hope this happens i don't buy it i don't buy it i hope i'm wrong stone please prove me wrong please prove me wrong stone i don't see all four of those dudes getting away i don't see it but i, I think all four of those dudes should definitely be traded away what do yeah, you think? I, I do buy it, man. I think all of those guys on that list will be traded. Just because the Rockets know that this season's over, and why would they risk losing a guy like David Nawaba and get nothing in return? I so hope I mean, they I, know that. Yeah, I hope I, they know that. I think, they, know, I think they do, man. Right? Yeah. yeah. And I, I think Oladipo, I, I know there was reports saying that the Rockets might actually keep him just because the value's not there, but I mean, to that point, I mean, I think they'll just get rid of him. Yeah. No, but looking at the Heat though, like they're the probably the best option for Oladipo, and they weren't willing to get PJ Tucker. So are they willing to get Oladipo? Oh, we know the Warriors came out and said that the, it wasn't even like realistic what the Rockets were asking. So who knows? Yeah. Man? yeah. Who knows? We'll see, but yeah. All right, guys, that's gonna do it, man. Let us know your thoughts down in the comments. Make sure you go and check out Will Upton. He's got a YouTube channel as well. Follow him on his socials like Twitter, Instagram, everything. Peace.